this is incredible <laughs> so welcome back guys uh, my name is solomon jagway i'm back with another quick insight and today we are looking at the machine learning uh, demo this is uh, from the Unreal Engine 5.2 release. Uh, it just came out. So this is a machine learning deformer sample uh, which introduces how to use the latest ML technology in Unreal Engine. So I've been, I saw this at, uh, you know, the set of the Unreal when they demoed it and I couldn't wait to like jump into the project itself and see the sample just like they did the city sample. I'm so grateful that they provided this, but guys, what you're looking at is actually in real time. <laughs> this is not even rendered. <laughs> That's what's insane. This is not rendered. I think digital doubles are gonna go to another level in the Unreal Engine 5.2. And I imagine this is, uh, you know, we're using Lumen here. And I'm gonna stop this for a second so you can actually see the project, but look at the, the veins underneath, you know, the muscle structure of it. And I think this is where I see the ap practical applications of uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning to be able to create like deformation under the skin with a, a muscle system. And I, I can't wait to see how this is implemented with uh, meta humans because when I look at this character in the engine itself, it doesn't look like uh, it has the uh, like the structure of a meta human per se. Like I don't see the face and the head and things like that. It's just a mesh. But uh, here, let me just go ahead and uh, press F1 to get out of the full screen. And first, let me point out also that uh, you can get this sample by going to your Epic Games sum, uh, like launcher and look for the, in the samples uh, tab over here. And you're going to find the ML deformer sample here. And you click on that, uh, add it to your cart check out and then you'll be able to create a project. <laughs> in my previous video, I tried to do that and I think uh, it was too early in the day when they had just announced the release of uh, the Unreal Engine 5.2. And I, as you can see, it's only for 5.2. It's not available for 5.1. So you have to update to the Unreal Engine 5.2 to be able to use it, okay? And uh, once you get in there, you'll be able to see a lot of uh, the features that they have provided, okay? So once you've created the project, uh, you're gonna, it's gonna show up here. And just go ahead and double click it and open it now it's 29 gigabytes so make sure you have plenty of space on the c drive as well as where you're going to put it uh, because it does have like some cache files that it saves on the c drive so i ran into that problem so i it won't run on 5.1.1 it's only you're going to need 5.2 and that one you can just go to up here if you don't have 5.2 just go to this plus sign over here to install drop down and it should show sorry drop down here and we'll show you the, the version that is available because I already have 5.2 installed. It, won't, it doesn't show up over here. So let's close that one over there. So I have it running in the Unreal Engine right here. And you can see this is a sequence that uh, they provide. It's in this the project. So let's go ahead and stop that. And so what I've done, I've brought in a meta human so we can compare. Let's uh, focus on that character. Okay. I just need to rotate. All right, let's press G to get rid of everything else. So you can see the character here and you can see the mesh, it has hairs on it. <laughs> Look at the veins underneath, you know? So this is incredible. So I brought in a meta human so we can compare. And this is a fresh meta human that I made in the Unreal Inch, in the meta human creator. And let's display the character. So as you can see, there's a big difference, you know. <laughs> a meta human actually looks like emaciated compared to this guy who's so beefy in the definition, right? So you can see the difference between the two. Uh, let's go to the main sequencer. You're gonna find it. Uh, by just uh, searching here for sequencer. Or sequence. And then scroll down. It's going to be the main sequence right here. And then go ahead and play. So that way you can be outside of the camera. So we can look at it and rotate around it. 
So that is amazing. So I, I look forward to seeing that implemented with the, you know, the metahumans over here and also being able to actually, because I wanted to do like a, a talking character, <laughs> talking about how Bath had just become, you know. So this is really cool. So when you guys, guys when you get a chance, uh, try, go ahead and download the sample uh, sin and test out yourself. Uh, again, you're going to need 5.2 for sure. And uh, I'm comparing this with uh, the MetaHuman. Now, if I go to the MetaHuman creator, oh, it timed out. Sorry, but <laughs> I was gonna show you some of the comparison between as the the animation is playing back, so you could see the difference. But yeah, this is the new ML Deformer sample video, and I wanted to share with you uh, so you can get a, a sense of how to load it and check it out. Uh, this is not rendered. This is in real time. What's this is what's amazing as well. So. I think uh, in terms of uh, application, I look forward to, I guess, using this in uh, short films. Uh, in uh, I don't know if it's for games uh, per se, but I see it being used in uh, like uh, digital doubles. Like if you want to replace like a real human in a, a movie set, for example, I think this is where it comes handy. Like we're getting closer and closer, like uh, the realism like level is going up. <laughs> and hats off to the Epic Games uh, team. Uh, man, guys, I've been working hard at this, but uh, yeah, I can't wait till this is implemented with uh, the MetaHumans. And of course, looking forward to the animation, uh, the MetaHuman animator. So that I mean, seeing all this combined, you can imagine the like fluid and realistic facial animation together with a realistic body like this. I can imagine like a scene where there's a, a boxing ring or like a martial arts kind of, you know, environment and the characters going at it. Like when you punch the character, the other guy, Will we be able to see the like the muscles ripple or like see the impact of the character on that? You know, that's where they I think we're gonna see that the real application of that. But uh with clothing on top of that, you know, with the cloth deformation applied as well with machine learning, I think it's gonna make for a more realistic application of our meta humans and uh, digital doubles in the Unreal Engine to create like convincing stories. Because ultimately it's all about the story. And that's that's the way I see myself applying this. You know, I want to be able to create convincing, realistic characters in stories that uh, convey, uh, like, add into the realism. So that when I drop this avatar or this character in, like, a scene, like a live plate, it looks like it's seamless. You know, and maybe it can replicate a human being. Just just replace them. You know how Wonder Studio you're able to swap out the different characters. Well, I'm looking for this to to use this to swap out like other actors that uh, if maybe if you want like uh, someone who felt sick at some point during the shoot and you're able to re replicate them or maybe someone who has passed away and you want to continue the project. Um, I, think, I think that's where I see applications of that. So guys, what do you think? Let me know what you <laughs> look at the deformation of the genes on the muscles underneath. That is so cool. So thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Again, I was sharing this uh, machine learning deformer sample scene and talking about looking at how incredibly realistic this is. And this is in real time in the Unreal Engine. That's what's amazing. So thank you for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, do please spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And thank you so much to all my patrons out there. What a time to be alive, guys, right? So, so cool. See you next time in another video. Bye-bye for now. Stay blessed. As always, dare to dream big. Never give up on your dream, guys. Bye for now.